That's cute. Yeah, definitely. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Huh? What's what? Oh, I thought you said something. No, I said good morning to him. Yeah. Here we are. Trinity Church. Easter Sunday, 2022. And that's a broken mirror. And the broken front. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I like mine. <laughs> There's the <church>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a nice pot. You never noticed that. <laughs> Sunday service. Uh, I the I get it on the way back? Yeah. Okay. But don't let me forget. Okay. Wait, there's a picture there before you look at the look at the back of this. Oh wow. Yeah, the Civic used to be the ordinary car and then the uh yeah. Uh, the bigger model used to be the Yeah. The big one is plain and the little one looks for you. Trinity Church, Oxford. Episcopal Church. Since 1698. Yeah. What, the white sign? Yeah, the, uh, the electronic ones. Oh. Like, like, uh, oh, little birdies. Little birdies. Oh. Okay. That's dumb. Dum dum dum. Dum dum dum. Maybe this is open over here. Alright. Not our easy other bathroom. Oh! Yay! Good, 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 good. Here we are. Mmm. That lovely smell. But same furniture still. Yeah. Funny. Same. Right, right Here we are. Look at all those old people. Oh, lovely couch. It's a pretty nice couch. Yeah, I always like those uh, those nice chairs there. The old ministers. You've seen these guys before. There's Mr. Smith. There's Mr. Smith. The creepy guy. There's Miss Taylor. There's the other minister. That's a head there looking up. There's inside here. We looked in there the one time. So, do you have these bathrooms? Yeah, in a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's when you used to turn in. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's been there. Well, his picture faded. That was a color picture. What's that? That was a color picture. Yeah. It really faded. Good picture of him. Though. Yeah, it is a good picture of him. Okay, good pickle. You push. Get a seat down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here's the bathroom in Trinity. Here's the toilet. I'm a little pissing it now. Okay. Picture of that. Picture of 
Come on, make sure he's young. Get to make that. Yeah. Uh, looks a little muddy today, maybe. What's that? Looks a little muddy, baby. Yeah. I see an Easter egg. I see another That's Easter the egg. Back there. Yeah. That's where you see the really, really old stuff. Yeah. It's hard to walk around there and look back. Oh, yeah, now definitely. Look, there's an Easter egg. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. There's Easter eggs everywhere, yeah. yeah that's cute. I like that a lot of them are easy to spot. Yeah. There, there. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Hey, go, man. Oh. Got me, you. Out of your hand. Awesome.
the words in the book and the hymns you go to the thing. It's kind yeah. of the opposite of yeah. the other place. Which, which do you like better? I don't know. Oh, there's the bell. are changing as of this morning. First of all, we've instituted a prayer request basket right at the uh, center aisle there. There's a basket and there are prayer request cards like this. We ask if you have special prayer requests that you would like to have remembered in the Mass today, please fill out that request, put it in the basket, and Paul will make sure that uh, Chuck gets it before the prayers of the people because we want to include them in the prayers of the people today and then they will be listed in the next bullet so we just like to have them ahead of time so we don't get them lost and you can be a part of the prayers today so well, that'll be for every Sunday for now. yeah we'll, we'll keep these every Sunday so please if you would if you would like to uh, fill out one of those forms just fill it out put it in the basket and Paul will get it up to us and are they in each queue? This no, 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 they're just up by the, the basket. Right. <laughs> because we figured that uh, they'd be available when you came in and that type of thing. So if you, if you want one now, and if there is something in the pew, just kind of pass it over and put it in the basket. Second of all, that is back to being, it's not new, but it is kind of an excitement. We are going back to using communion in two kind as of today. So the chalice will be offered as of today again, which has been the first now since the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, some congregations have been uh, utilizing the chalice for some time now, but we felt that we would hold off until Easter Sunday, which is today. So we are involving both kind today. We are also stressing that intention is not an option so if you feel that you can't drink from the chalice then just pass from the chalice and just take the bread and take it in one kind which is perfectly fine there's no problem with that but uh, if you uh, uh, understand there is two kinds today
and we will be using the full rail. So when you come up, just fall into the rail, and I guess you're all used to that in the old days, so you understand how that works. Okay. And we'll also be lighting the Paschal candle this morning in, in, in a few moments. So, and we're also singing hymns today, and we're doing all these things that we haven't done in a while, so if, if we kind of screw up, just bless us and let's just keep going, and we'll be fine. Right? Okay. All right. Do we have any other announcements that I have forgotten? Later, for the regular announcements. Okay, regular announcements later. Okay, if there are no other things that I have to say, <laughs> then let us begin. And you'll find in your pews these sheets. Some, some of you will. Some, no, it should be in every one, but uh, for lighting the pastoral candle. So, so we please follow along uh, with that first. Okay. Let us pray. Oh God, through your Son, you have bestowed upon your people the brightness of your light. Sanctify this new fire and grant that in this Paschal feast we may so burn with heavenly desires that with pure minds we may attain to the festival of everlasting light. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. candle is usually always lit during the, uh, the vigil. So we are lighting it this morning as a part of our morning. Right. The light of Christ. Thanks be, Thanks God. be to God. Let us pray. Rejoice and sing now all round the earth. Bright with a glorious splendor. For darkness has been vanquished by our eternal King. Rejoice and be glad now, Mother of Church, and let your holy courts and radiant light resound with the praises of your people. All you who stand near this marvelous and holy flame, pray with me to God the Almighty for the grace to sing the worthy praise of this great light. For we pray always through Jesus Christ, his Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with him in the unity of the Holy Spirit as one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Hymn number 207. <laughs>
God. To you all hearts are open and all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, so that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your blessed and holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, overcame death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, grant that we, who celebrate with joy the day of the Lord's resurrection, may be raised from the death of sin by your life-giving Spirit. For we pray this through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit as one God, both now and forever. Please. Today's first lesson is a reading from the prophet Isaiah. I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The former things shall not be remembered or come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I am creating. For I am about to create Jerusalem as a joy and its people as a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and delight in my people. No more shall the sound of weeping be heard in it, or the cry of distress. No more shall there be in it an infant that lives but a few days, or an old person who does not live out of a lifetime. For one who dies at a hundred years will be considered a youth, and one who falls short of a hundred will be considered a curse. They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For like the days of the tree shall the days of my people be, and my children shall enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain or bear children for calamity. They shall be offspring blessed by the Lord and their descendants as well. Before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. A wolf and a lamb shall feed together. A lion shall eat straw like the ox. But the serpent, its food shall be dust. They shall not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, says the Lord. The word of the Lord.
came up raining and told me he had put all his enemies under his feet. What the new story is this guy? The word of the Lord. Why? 
Isn't that exactly what Jesus went through for you and me? When those scourging whips lashed against his back, the Romans had very particular ways of scourging people. The cat of nine tails had hooks at the end, and when it went into the back of a person, it would take flesh and rip it out. They were very creative in their ways. So yes, what you would see, what Mel Gibson put together in that film was as probably as accurate a rendition as we can possibly make 2,000 years ago, based upon the testimony of people of that age. To realize just how much was paid for us is a hard thing to understand. And then to think about what the apostles witnessed also that time is hard to understand too. Even though Jesus told them over and over again that he would have to suffer and that it was going to cost him his life and they didn't want to hear this. They wanted to see Jesus continue a ministry, a ministry that was really, truly an exciting moment in time. People were flocking to them, and they, they were a part of that moment in history when Jesus marched into Jerusalem, and they were all shouting Hosanna and placing palm branches in front of them. They didn't want to have that change. They wanted to have all of the glory all of the excitement continue. They wanted to see the healings take place and uh, the accolades and the invitations still continue. They didn't want Jesus talking about him going into Jerusalem to die. But Jesus kept talking about it. And even on a couple of days before he actually died, he sat at table with them and said, this is my body, given up for you. This is my blood of the new covenant. Do this in remembrance of me. They still didn't quite understand it. It was just too much. And even up in the, the Mount of Olives, when they were instructed by Jesus to keep vigil, they couldn't do it. just surreal. And now it's been several days after a very horrible death sequence up in Golgotha where they watched and cried and were horrified at what they saw. And Joseph took the body down and placed it in a tomb. They knew it was over. And now they knew that their lives were in jeopardy and they needed to get out of town and, because their lives next were going to be attacked by the Sanhedrin. So all of what Jesus told them just didn't come up to making sense. They had to get out of town. The road to Emmaus was part of that and some of the guys just had to get out of town. But that morning... Mary Magdalene and some of the other women knew that they had to take care of the body of Jesus because that was their custom and, they, and it was Passover and this was the first opportunity they could have taken care of Jesus and well, they loved him and they knew that they had to take care of that painfully, horribly marred and disfigured body now because of all the beatings. So they had to take the spices and the wrappings and take care of them. But what they found, they were not, they were not able to comprehend either. Even when the angels told them that he had risen from the dead, he had told you that, they, that he was going to rise from the dead. He's not here. <laughs> you know, think about it. What would you do? 
even if you were told that something was going to happen so miraculous, how would you respond? Even if you were told this by someone you really believed was a very special human being, and even the Son of God, how would you respond? Incredibly, I'm sure. So you'd probably go running back to the other members of your party and say, just like Mary Magdalene and Joanna and the others, go back and say, he's not there. Somebody's probably stolen our Lord. But we were told that he, by these two men, rose from the dead. One of the passages of scripture said, of course, to Mary Magdalene, that she ran into a gardener or what she thought was a gardener, and well, it was Jesus, and she said, woman, why are you crying? And she said, well, if you've taken him from the tomb and placed him someplace, give me an idea where I can find him so I can take care of his body. Don't, don't do this to us. He was such a good man. Mary, she, he says to her, and suddenly her eyes are open. And again, she goes back to the twelve, and they don't believe her. But John and Peter, they go running to the tomb, and they're fine, the tomb is empty. But still, it doesn't sink in yet. It really doesn't sink in to Pentecost, until there are a couple of times where he approaches the disciples and reveals himself to them. But this has been 2,000 years now since those moments in time. And the church and the faithful are still wondering when he's going to reveal himself to them. Numbers are starting to dwindle because people don't believe anymore. They're having difficult times understanding that Jesus is really going to come again. This year, for instance, is one of those miracle years where the Passover, Easter, and Ramadan are all happening at the exact same time. Members of the three major, the largest membership faith communities are all worshiping God at the exact same time, celebrating the exact same realities of God's presence at the exact same time. Wow, if that's not a miracle, I don't know what is. But we're not listening, at least not in this country. A lot of people are still just, you know, don't really pay attention anymore. Unfortunately. Because it's been 2,000 years, and even in the first century, people were crying over the fact that Jesus broke his promise. He said he was coming back within the first generation. But he didn't come back in the first generation. Where is he? Did he lie? No. He said he'd come back. And on the Father's time, the Father made those decisions. It wasn't up to him. It was up to the Father. So we are called as Christians in today's world, 2,000 years after these events, to have patience, to believe. We can't go running to the tomb and therefore see what took place a few days before and the fulfillment of the prophecy and the, and the promise. We can't do that today like it happened 2,000 years ago. But we are called to keep the faith. To hang on to the reality that Christ will come again. To hang on to the belief that in the body and the blood of Jesus, given to us in the sacrament, He is feeding us. He is giving us His hope. He is surrounding us with His hand. He is comforting us with His grace. He is he is with us today and always. And at the 
fear of all three faiths coming together is a proclamation of God saying we are his children and he is with us. Have faith. Don't give up. For he hasn't given up on us. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. This is the promise. And this is what it's all about. And this is the joy. Not just today on an Easter day, but it's on every one of us every day. It's why the sun shines in our hearts even on a cloudy, rainy day, snowy day, or whatever. That's what gets us out of bed and propels us into our lives. It's what gives us hope. Those things that we have and It's what gives us the ability to face it with the light of Christ still emanating from us. If all three religions today took seriously the fact of why we are all blessed with the ability to worship, we stop hating each other and stop. Because that's what Jesus wanted us to do from the beginning. That's what he died for. And that's what he gave us in his rising from the tomb. That's what the Passover was all about. Giving the Jews the freedom from oppression by lighting up their lives and giving them the ability to face the world with a newness giving them hope over a darkened world. And the Muslim realization that Islam is a part of the world and God loves them just as much as he loves the Jew, as much as he loves the Christian. And together we are all God's people. This is Share the light of God to all people in the name of God Himself, through Jesus Christ, the risen light of the world. So today we celebrate Easter. It's a wonderful time. It's a beautiful time. And God has given us sunshine.
where's the, the nice seat? Oh, wait a minute, that's saying. No. no, we don't have to sing anything at this point. <laughs> Let us say, we believe in one, one God, 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 Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one, one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally God, God and the Father, God from God, God life from light. light. True God and true God, he got not made of one being the Father, through whom all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came up from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary, and he was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, on the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Merciful Father, in your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone, and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, 
to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now may Almighty God have mercy upon you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Now may the peace of the Lord always be with you. Peace of the Lord with you. Yeah. That's a blessing. Whoops. Yep. Oh, There's good. Yep. Sorry. Peace of the Lord. Oh, so good. I got <laughs> fallen behind him. Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> Peace, man. Hello. Hello. I this many every Sunday. Bye. Take care. <laughs>
Uh, and we all know, we can read news that masking starts tomorrow again for indoors, which means us. So, oh. Bishop said, you've got to follow what the mayor says, so starting next week, uh, we'll need to know masks again until they deem it safe to take them off. We hope that won't take too long. We hope. Boy, uh, see, again, it's an argument between the CDC and the city of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, um, now, as um, Reverend Bill had said, as far as communion service, we are doing um, the common cup uh, today, along with the wafers, and we're just the wafers at home. So you have the option of just doing one in kind, just take the wafer, and then return to your seat, or have the wafer and the common cup. If you would like not to do either, please just still come up and just place your hands over your shoulders, and Reverend Bill will give you a blessing. Uh, and also, as I said, no uh, no intention which we no to be. Okay, so that's not in the Episcopal realm. We don't do that. You know, it's just that was when we were started, but it's just it's not it's 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 yeah. So that's not permitted. Um, it's up to you. There will be a vestry meeting next week. Um, I'm pretty young. Okay. At 1 o'clock. Um, and then also, um, Next week will be my last Sunday here for a month. So I'll be here next week, and then I'll be away for all of May. No, no parties, please. No parties. <laughs> <laughs> we are still looking for people who are interested in learning the, the position of Eucharistic assistant. Um, because right now Chuck has been basically holding that position, and with John having being under the weather, we're, we're, we're dead. We, we need help. So if anyone's interested in learning that position, please step forward. So I have a volunteer who's going to help out, so hopefully I don't have to be stuck with it for the four weeks. But, uh, somebody else can pitch in. It would be, be, be great. So anyway. And anything from the parish? Any questions? Any answers that we need? <laughs> so, I guess that's everything. Okay. God bless you all. Happy Easter. And let us continue our morning worship with the giving of our offerings and tithes to the glory of our Lord and the work of this church. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Not many people here. That's what I was just saying. 
Yeah, that, that's kind of dumb. Yeah. Episcopalian, so yeah. yeah. Good thing we don't live here. It's a nice bowl.
We praise you, we bless you, we give thanks to you, and we praise you, Lord our God. Pray that in your goodness and in your Holy Spirit may descend upon us upon the seas, sanctifying them and showing them to be the holy gifts for your holy people, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, the body and blood of your precious Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that all who share this bread and this cup may become one body and one spirit, a living sacrifice in Christ for the praise of your name. Remember, Lord, your one holy Catholic and apostolic church, redeemed by the blood of your Christ. Okay. Renew in the entire faith and preserve it in peace. Remember all who minister in your church. Remember all your people and those who seek your truth. Remember all your loved ones whose flower and dedication are given today. Remember all who have died in the peace of Christ and those whose faith is known to you alone. Bring them into the place of eternal joy and love. We grant that we may find our inheritance in the Blessed Virgin Mary, the patriarchs, prophets, apostles, and martyrs, and all the saints who have found favor with you in ages past. For we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For it is through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty God and Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Jesus Christ has taught us, we are Father, Father, Father in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but to deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us preach the peace. Hallelujah. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Can I do this? Can I do this? I guess so. Jesus Christ has been sacrificed for you. Yeah. His precious body of our Lord Jesus Christ has been sacrificed for the Christ of the cup of salvation. His precious body of our Lord Jesus Christ has been sacrificed for you. The of Christ of the cup of salvation.
Lord and God, we thank you for being not us with the spiritual foods of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living in the of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Now may the Almighty God, who has redeemed us and made us his children, through the resurrection of his Son, our Lord, bestow upon you the riches of his blessing.
Yeah, really. Blessings <laughs> there. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. He doesn't have to do anything. He just sits it on his chest. Yeah. <laughs> and you dwarf yourself behind yeah, I, 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 I come up in the dark pit, I think. <laughs> okay, let's go get the thing. Yeah. That looks new. Does that look new? Rather new? What's that? Oh. Yeah. They take it like you said. They look pretty darn good. Yeah. That's, I'll have to see what my fairies look like. That's good news. That is good news. Yeah, it's pretty tough because these are yeah. hundreds and hundreds of years old yeah. probably, but yeah, that one's knocked off its thing, unfortunately. But to lift that would be like you need a crane. I can, that's like four corner markers. Like they own that section. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get that in little barn back over there and put that on there. We can go around the other side, that way you don't bother people coming up. Yeah. With eggs. <laughs> yep, all these eggs. Very cute. That's so funny, that's so nice. Yeah. What's the point? Does it say anything on the other side? Let me see. Yeah. In memory of the slaves buried in unmarked graves in this churchyard, erected in 2007. I'm glad they did that. Yeah, that just used to be a big blank section there. Yeah. Where the slaves were just buried with no markers. Yeah. So. Well, at least it's improving a little bit. Yeah. The church. Yeah, yeah they are trying. Yeah, if they have another like fundraiser thing, I'll I'll, I'll donate a little more money. So who is the lady that, that who thought it was Michael? Sam McCracken. Probably. Now, who, who said it to you? The lady on our side of the aisle? Or the yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, Sam McCracken. Yeah. Yeah, see, you were just a little one. Yeah. At the time. Long, whereas Michael and Samantha would have been here until they were early teens. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was seven. Yeah. Over here. Over here. There's some over here. There you are. There's some over here. Look. Yeah, look over here. Look over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's one. Yeah. Oh, look, another one. Oh, that's, oh, that's bright. Tell, tell my son's part. Michael doesn't have any hair. <laughs> <laughs> Michael balls a billion. Oh, you know, just that's you know, it just you just are recognized. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 My goodness. Yeah, Samantha is, I still think of you as a little boy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We do, yeah. yeah. Samantha's uh, 40. Michael's 37, and he's 27. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Heath. Seven when we move. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. Happy Easter. Oh, that's 
to uh, breed up how to do it. Yes, yeah, unless these are newer or something. Yeah, that one's still, uh, still dark. Huh. I'll have to find out a way to clean that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a little bit. Yeah. I'll have to read what you clean pink granite with. And, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I didn't do that one either. I guess they're running out of juice. <laughs> Bye bye. Oh, they just got one look on Palm Sunday. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I did that. Yeah, that one looks a little crooked, too, like it shifted or something. Strange. What, ours? Yeah, yeah. That might be the ground sunk a little. Yeah. But, uh,. Yeah, the, these look all polished up. I don't know. Well, that looks a little dirty. Yeah, the ones in the back. The ones, like they didn't yeah. like they miss the back row or something. You know, like they stopped here. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I don't know. Now, I think that one's dirty too, the angle one. Maybe the angle ones hold dirt more. Yeah. Yeah, see that? That one's like this too. Ah, that's little rose. Oh well, they have some over there, like real close together. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. That's a cute little one. I like that one. Yeah. Mr. Smith is. There's a section where they have over there, where they have all the little graves, the little back to back to back, and that's all the people that are in cremated. Um, but they don't take up so much room. Yeah. So Mr. Smith is probably over here. On his way. Oh, he was just cremated. Yes, he wanted to be cremated. Yeah. Probably going to be Yeah, like the Claypools. That's Colleen's family. Oh, wow. Troy. The two girls that we just saw together, the sisters. Yeah. That's their mom and dad. Oh, uh, okay. And they must have played with theirs. That's the weaver, okay. That's uh, another couple of girls, their mom and dad. Oh, that's a famous family, too. Yeah, she was a nice lady. I don't think I knew them. Let's see. I'm looking for, oh, there's Smith. There's the Smith. Oh, I'm Mr. Kids. Wow. We'll have to do that. We'll have to. I'll have to take care of that. You know? Yeah. When we do that one, we'll... Yeah, that's scummy. Yeah, because he was here 31 years. Yeah. So. Oh, somebody did. This is probably the food now. Oh, you knew them? I think so. I knew them. Yeah. Yeah. The tree sales are here somewhere. Might be over there. Might be over there. They have flowers on the way. Yeah. Yeah. Weston, I don't know. I didn't know he was buried there. He was the organist for years. Oh Crying wow. Stupid. He was uh oh, her thing wore off. Her thing was getting cut. You know, it wasn't cut, it got worn off. Um he I believe he was the organist at my wedding possibly. Oh wow. Uh, and he was also at the Valley Forge Military Academy for years. Wow. Their organist. I don't remember. Oh wow, Whitaker, Whitaker Avenue. 
Oh this yeah. Is where you get into the street names. Yeah. So they were named after the Cotmans are here too, and. Uh, Yeah, they were one of the first streets they were named And then the, the Overingtons are here, and they are a street name in Frankfurt. Like, there's a whole lot of street names in Frankfurt that are here. Oh, that one broke, I guess. Oh, that one got knocked off. That's a shame. Yikes. That is a shame. I don't know how to fix them. 1879 and 1942. Yeah, yeah, some of the older ones, the stuff wears off. Yeah. You would have to have a special cleaner to try and clean it up. Oh, wow. Let me just look at these over here. Yeah. A little history lesson, right? You yeah. like history. Yeah. I think yours is the only pink one here. I don't know. Ah, uh, father, mother, and son. Unruh. That's unruh. Yeah. I didn't know that was here. Yeah. That's a, that's a neat... That is neat, yeah. Yeah, I really like that. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, we were all the way over here. But, uh, it's interesting of all the street games. There's another one somebody put flowers in. That's a pink one. Oh, that yeah. That's pretty recent, because I don't think any of the old ones are pink. Let's see what year that's from. 1970. Or, oh uh, no. Is that 18? Oh my god. Wow. But it could be that they must, later on. Yeah. Then. They redid it, yeah. Look at those. Wow. Overington. There's the Overingtons. Overington. Yeah. Unfortunately, they don't find the second one for the new room for the. Hi. Okay. Let's get around. How you doing? Hi, Doggy. <laughs> He's friendly. Yeah, he's Rupert. Hello, Rupert. Oh, that's so Rupert. Yeah. He's, he's an old man. Oh. Yeah. Ten. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I you're too high. Yeah. yeah. Next time I come over, you little tiny biscuit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my oh, look at this. Chilly. Oh, so cute. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Get. Oh, what did you? First, first of all. What's his name? Oh, oh Benny. Oh, Benny. Yeah. Oh, Benny. Yeah. Oh, Benny. Oh, Benny. Yeah. Oh, Benny. 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 Oh, Yes. Tell me all hate dogs. Right? <laughs> he's only eight weeks, so he is like oh, he's like baby. eighteen to twenty-two hours. Now, what kind of dog is that? He's a Frenchie. He's another Frenchie. Frenchie. Okay. Yeah. Did he see him? And he's the Boston Terrier. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I get confused with them because yeah. they're kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just yeah. so my neighbor has two of these guys, and they're like His identical. Eyes are super blue. Yeah. 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 Ye